What is going on, everybody? Pete Simonetti here for NYY News. The offseason daily, daily has something going on. Today is a player that you guys, if you are a regular subscriber, we've got so many new subscribers, so thank you guys so much. But if you have been a regular or if you've watched me and never subscribed and you still don't and hopefully you do, but if you have watched me for a long time, you're going to be familiar with this name because I've told you guys the Yankees have had interest before. Now it's being confirmed again by a lot of the mainstream guys. Um, Brian Reynolds, Pittsburgh Pirates. It's becoming a daily rumor, and if they don't get him now, it'll continue to be a daily rumor until he's traded. Because the one thing we know for a fact with Pittsburgh is this guy is an elite ball player. He's young. He's eventually going to come due, and he'll be moved. Whether it's at arbitration or before that, he'll be moved uh, when it gets to that time. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates. They're not going to hold on to a superstar unless they somehow lock him up early. But eventually, Brian Reynolds will be traded. So it's either going to be a constant story for years to come or it's going to be something that pops off now. And it could make some sense. So for the fans, first of all, who do not know who Brian Reynolds is, Pittsburgh Pirates center fielder, Young, 26 years old, will be 27 next year. On the season, had a six war, had a career high with 24 homers, 302 average, uh, eight triples, 20 again, 24 home runs, 90 RBIs, five stolen bases, 75 walks, on base percentage 390, batting average 302, as I said, slugging 522, OPS 912. This is a terrific ball player, 35 doubles. Um, again, good center fielder also. Just a 2022 projection has him again having a solid year. Uh, that's with the Pirates. So again, with a team like the Yankees, it would be very interesting to see how those projections would change. Um, definitely would bat at the top of the order. Uh, would be tre tremendous. But let me go ahead and just kind of level set with you guys here. I know a lot of good people in Pittsburgh. Um, it's actually one of the teams where... If, again, you guys have paid attention to me and have watched me for a while, you would know I always have good information on Pittsburgh, whether it comes back to the time of the Cole trade, whether it's Jamison Tyone, um, whatever it may be when the Yankees are dealing with Pittsburgh, um, just as recently as last year when Clay Holmes, I was the probably one of the only guys saying, everybody, hold on a second, I got some great information on who this guy is. And we saw he was actually elite, and that's what I was told when they got him. Like, it was, oh, Pete, you know, hold up a second. You guys actually got a pitcher who is really, really good. And the only reason why I got that information is like I have really good connections out there with guys in Pittsburgh who know the team, see the team, watch the team, are very familiar with the way they go about their business. So one of the things I've heard about today, when I asked about it, was quite simple. They'll listen. The Pirates will listen. If a team comes to the table and blows them away, and they know that they can replace Reynolds and then add immediately within the next one to two years, because if you guys don't know the Pirates, people hear the Pirates and are just like, ah, it's the Pirates, who cares? No, 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 wait a second. The Pirates have legitimate players coming up. They got Cruz at short, Gonzalez coming up at second base, could play third, I believe, also. Um, again, you know about uh, Key Brian Hayes already. They got uh, Davis, who's one of the, they just drafted as a catcher, is going to be ready soon. Then, I mean, they got a lot. Swaggerty's another guy. Head's another guy in the outfield. Uh, Quinn Priester, um, former Yankee Contreras. Uh, Taraj, I think his name is. I forgot his last name, but he's another starting pitching prospect. Um, something like that his name is. I forget how to say his name, but the point is, they got a lot of good f going for them when it comes to guys coming up. Um, and a lot of those guys are very, very close. So you're looking at within 2022 to 2023, these guys are going to be ready. So... When you look at a trade like this, you look at it from the Pirates' perspective. We don't have to trade Brian Reynolds. We have no reason to trade. We might be able to win with him, at least become contenders with him, and they could. That's not a joke. That's not me being, that's not me, you know, joking about this. The Pirates have a chance to be a contender in the next two to three years, no doubt about it. Um, if they get lucky and these guys come up and perform next year, 2023, they could fight and be a much better club. Uh... I think the main 2024, 2025, potentially, they could they could really be a, a very, very good squad. 
So looking at that at a pirate's point of view, okay, we'll consider it. We know some clubs got great farm systems. One of the clubs that are also interested in rentals, per reports, I can't really speak for other clubs, but per the reports of the mainstream guys, are the Mariners. The Mariners got a shit ton of prospects. One of the best systems in the game. So if the Mariners ap- approach them and go, well, we'll give you this, 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 and that, one, three, four, seven, and eight on our pool, or maybe a guy that's already at the level that you guys like, you know, we can we can talk about that. The one good thing that the Yankees also do have, because I'm not a Mariners channel, of course, I'm going to speak on what the Yankees trade would have to be, is if you could convince the Pirates and say to them, well, we're getting one of your major leaguers. I would like to add Stallings in on that, but I'll, I'll get I'll get to that later. I would like to give you all multiple major leaguers for your one major leaguer, and they're also controllable. What that could mean is, first of all, one of your top guys got to be in there. And I'm almost going to hold out Peraza on this deal because I think that's an Olsen thing and the Yankees can still build on that. But just speaking of this, so if I add Peraza, forget the Olsen stuff for now. This is just a video based on what it could take right now to get Reynolds. If, 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 these are all ifs. Because again, guys, you know I don't like doing all the trade stuff. But what you're looking at is saying, okay, one of our best prospects is Jason Dominguez. Well, entertain that. Well, entertain Dominguez. You guys like him? Cool. But how I'm going to try to convince you of this deal is that Dominguez isn't ready. So he's not going to help that pool of where you guys think you contend soon. You're looking at 2024, 2025 that would be ready, which could actually be a great time for your organization. What we will do is supply you right now with guys who are ready, close to being ready. Very, very close. Estevan Floriel could immediately take over in center field. Luis Heal could immediately jump into the rotation. Davey Garcia could immediately jump into a rotation or a bullpen. Clark Schmidt, the same thing, and these are still top prospects. But then we got prospects, Luis Medina, Oswald Peraza. They already got a lot set up on the infield, so I don't know how interested they would be in a guy like Peraza. I'm sure they still would be. But Medina, Heal, um, Oswaldo Cabrera could potentially be a starter this year. Um, Everson Piera could also be an outfielder very, very close to being ready. So the point here is if you can convince them to say, look, we can actually supply you with two to three cost-effective guys at the major league level right now or within next year that you can build upon. If that's something that's attractive to the Pirates, which if I were the Pirates, it would be. Because if I could say, okay, I'll trade Reynolds. I already have his replacement in center field with Estevan Floriel, who may hit for more power. He pro- he'll bat less. He's not the same player. But he could supply us with a lot of power. He could also surprise everybody and be very good, as I believe he will become. We know his glove is great in center field. We know he has an arm. We know he can run. So he's going to steal us more bases than Reynolds does. He could potentially hit for more power. Yeah, he's going to strike out more. Yeah, he's going to bat lower. But we're not contending next year. This kid may turn into a really good ball player. We know Jason Dominguez is down the line. We know what that talent looks like. That's a blue chip prospect. Luis Heal fits into our rotation very nice. Now at Rusny Contreras. Maybe Keller gets it going finally. Bruder Baker, maybe. We got something, a little something going on there. Quinn Priester isn't far away. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. Oswaldo Cabrera could play all over. Maybe he's almost ready to go. So a lot of good there. A lot of ways you could make it make sense for the Pirates. I still believe the more realistic guy. So Francis actually sent me this in DM. He's like, Pete. Would you give up the top, top guys if they added Stallings also? So he's talking about like Volpe and everybody else. I'm like, whoo, that's a tough one. With If I entertain that, you must have the other guys involved also. 
And what I mean by that is you got to know you're signing Seager. You got to know you're getting Robbie Ray. Because if you dump the farm, you got to know that team you're putting out there is like unheard of. It would have to be a team that's like, fam, if these guys stay healthy, not even Aaron Boone could make this team bad. Like, it's, it's that type of thing. Like, if you added Reynolds, Seager, Stallings, Ray, maybe maybe another pitcher, maybe Olsen. I don't know how you do that. But if you do some astronomical Buxton, maybe you do some astronomical thing, then, then you could maybe empty the farm a little bit. But in reality, to sum up this video, I don't think it happens. I don't think Reynolds is traded. I think if he is... It would be amazing if the Yankees get him. It's going to cost a lot. It's going to hurt. But get Stallings, too, then, if that's ever the case. You know, add up on both positions. Yankees can't make all these trades and, and keep Gary Sanchez around. So, you guys have been amazing, by the way. Views are through the roof. Subscribers are through the roof. Guys, we had a goal, like I said, of 6,000 subscribers by January 1st. We're already at over 5,700. We're about 290-something away from breaking that goal already. We might have to increase that goal. Uh, come December. So again, guys, thank you so much for everything you're doing. Thank you so much for enjoying the page, talking about it the way you are. Again, comments below. Let me know what you think of Brian Reynolds. Is it possible in your opinion? From what I hear, likely not. But if it is, it'll be an absolute blowout deal. They're going to have to really knock the Pirates out their seats to make a deal. So you guys, again, let me know in the comments below. Do you like Reynolds? What would that trade look like for you on the Yankee side? Or who would you be willing to offer? Again, guys, this is Pete Simonetti for the one, the only NYY News. Talk to you all again very, very soon. Yeah,